the Asia Road Racing Championship is back. Have you missed us? We've certainly missed you. After multiple quarantines, multiple PCR tests, multiple everything to do with COVID, we are back and racing. Barry Russell alongside Des Corkill to talk you through two days of fabulous racing that we've got lined up at the Chang International Circuit. Conditions, Barry Russell, looking pretty good, if a little bit warm. A little bit warm. The track temperatures, uh, I'm told, are coming up to close to 60 degrees, which is going to be a good workout for the new Dunlop tyres that we're seeing in at least the 600 and 1000 classes. But we're here for the underbones first. They're running, as we know, on Moto3 tyres. OK, let's get to the racing. We've made you wait for two years, so there's been qualification already. Let's get the highlights for the season up and running with qualification for the Underbone 150cc. Highlights here for qualification for the Underbone 150cc at the Asia Road Racing Championships. First time back in over two years. The 3 2 1, it's a good result for Nazal is about in uh, a time. He's inside 202, Barry Russell, and looking pretty good. Yeah, 202 without the aid of a slipstream is a very, very good time around here. Uh, he, he put together a really, really good lap. And there on the screen, there you can see. The man who didn't complete his uh, his flying lap in Super Bowl, that's Sir uh, John Emerson in Guito, so he will start in 15th position. Also in the great team, one for all, that's Peter Ponglo Boimpeng, one of the favourites of the local circuit, but in P2, Hafid Pratmadiata no Sandy from Indonesia. Unknown to me, but he's put in a really good lap time. He only qualified P9, but he's got himself up to P2 after Super Bowl. Yep, again, he put a very, very good lap together. Uh, perhaps surprised a few people, but that's it. You've got one shot, he took his shot. Super Bowl, what happens is you have qualification for all of the riders. The top 15 have an opportunity to improve their time. And this was the man who did best. We're going to call him the Val Man because our Oze Oezu from Japan, uh, he, he was fourth fastest in qualification and then blitzed the field when it came to Super Bowl. Absolutely. Everybody was looking at his uh, one for all teammate, Birapong Nui Bimpeng, as you said, as a favourite. There he is, Oi Oezu. That's not easy to say for a Londoner. But there he is on screen. Very, very happy with his result. Really surprised people. But should we be surprised? So there are the highlights. Back live now as the riders are onto the circuit. This is the Chang International Circuit. We all know about Corner 12, Barry. It's, uh, it's infamous, particularly for underbone. But where else should riders really be careful on this circuit? I think one of the most interesting corners here is Turn 4. They approach it at speeds of around these, uh, on the superbikes anyway, at uh, close to 300 kilometers an hour. The underbones approach it at around 150 to 160 kilometers an hour, which is really fast on a small bike. And into turn four, which is a fast, daring, daring do <laughs> left-hander. As you approach it, you can't, you can't really see it from the, the sidelines, but you have to go over a blind crest. And that makes the entry to turn four really uh, scary if you're not used to it. We're on board here with uh, Hafid uh, Pratmadiata Norsandi uh, riding the Yamaha. Um, the, the, it's mainly Yamahas. So there's a couple of Hondas in the, in the field, a couple of the Indonesians, a couple of the Vietnamese. But uh, Oezu, we, we saw him earlier on Team One Floor. What a brilliant result that is for him. But also for the man in P3, uh, Nazrul Izat Baudin, who's riding for the Uma Racing Yamaha Maju Motor Asia team. Yep, I've had a week off this week uh, at Buriram and watched him moving really quickly throughout the uh, pre-season test as well as the practice yesterday. So hey, I'm, just hearing, I'm just hearing, Barry, that actually Nazrul Izat is out. He's had a problem between the Super Bowl and now, and I didn't see him on the grid there as we carry on uh, through the rest of the field. This is April King Moscato, who won a, an underbone category in the Philippines Championship last season. So all of these guys have been busy while ARRC has been away. But um, uh, com uh, bike number 14 there, Pitapong Luboinpeng, the second team one for all racer. Uh, I know you know him very well. He's, he's, he's done very well in the tie service. Absolutely. He loves racing underbones. He's, uh, he's performed really well. Another rider who's performed really well all week. His team manager is none other than the 125 GP legend, Weechi Wee. And uh, he's looking fresh and confident, fast all the way through.
Now take a look at this guy. One XOX TKR racing team, Wayu Aji Trilexana. He and the man next to him, Gupita Krejna, are really, really famous in Indonesia and on the Asia Road Racing Championships. Invariably near the top uh, when we come to the end of a season. This is Gupita Krejna, a former champion at Underbone. Indeed, they have two Underbone champion ARC Underbone Championships apiece. These two, there is Gupita. He had a quiet uh, pre-season test, quiet practice, and then pulled it all out and... Uh, managed the fastest qualifying session yesterday to take him into Super Bowl. His grid position now, as we can see, is nine. That was Cardinals Racing's uh, Ayman Tahrudin. Next to him, a debutant, Giancarlo Mauricio from Uma Racing uh, Yamaha Philippines. Again, he's done well on the domestic circuit and is enjoying an elevation, kind of a promotion onto the Asian scene. Alongside him, another of the young Malaysian riders, uh, Shafiq Rosli, uh, another Uma Racing Yamaha, but this time the Maju Motor side, Uma, great sponsors of the Underbone category. Yeah, we know this uh, rider very well from uh, Underbone Racing here as we come now to Dimas Juli at Moco from the LFN Indonesia racing team. He's on the Hondas. Now, the Hondas a little bit underpowered at the, at the 150 at the underbone, so um, we're not expecting him to be uh, too far ahead. You've got Duk Tan alongside him, the best of the uh, Vietnamese. Uh, Ingito finishing in P15, even though he crashed, as we saw. Little wave to us. Hands on the bike, please, uh, John Emerson. We don't want you coming off once again. Absolutely. But a uh, very good performance for him all the way through. Uh, and for the 41 SM team, they bagged one and two in the qualifying session for under bones yesterday. Uh, he's starting anyway from, uh, from 15th position and Kupita from 9th position. The other racers, Jordan Badaru in P16, and Yun Antoine from Vietnam 17. Murabil Vitoni on debut, two non-starters from the one XOX TKR racing team who've had a bit of a nightmare here in Boram, Hafiza Rofa and Fazli Sham. Let's talk you through. Ueza on pole position, team one for all, alongside Hafid uh, Pramaditya Nosandi from Pittsbike JRT one way. Uh, on the Yamaha is Nazrul Izat, but I didn't see him on the start line. I must have a look at that. Izat Zaidi in P4 for Pittsbike. Af uh, Afif Amran, who did really well on the Cup Prix circuit in Malaysia last year in P5, and um, Philippines champion April King Moscato, P6. And we're looking at Pirapon Bunlut, uh, number seven, leading the third row from Wayuaji Trelixana, the double champion, and the other double champion from Indonesia, Gupita Krishna, number 23. Uh, qualifying 10th was Ayman Tarudin, 11th Giancarlo Maurizio, we just saw on the grid, and 12th Siafik Rosli. Shafiq uh, along, uh, just ahead of Dimas Juli, who's a debutant for the LFN Indonesia racing team. Duk Tan, let's just see how the Vietnamese can cope with, uh, let's see if they can get a little bit more competitive than they have been in previous seasons. John Emerson in Gito on the, uh, for the Yamaha racing team, riding the Sniper 150. Jordan on debut, Antoine, the second of the Vietnamese, and Murabal Vitoni from the LFN Indonesia racing team. They are completing the 18. Hafiza and Ahmed Fazli Sham, sadly, not on the starting line. That is devastating for the 1XOX TKR racing team. Absolutely. Both uh, multiple race winners, both uh, bring the excitement everywhere they go, and very popular riders in this paddock and wherever they go. And the other, the other point about the Vietnamese riders is that during what I've been calling the two-year close season, uh, they haven't had anywhere to race. So they've been practicing on small tracks in, in Vietnam, but coming here to Chang International Circuit is a totally different ball game. Uh, so they've been getting a lot of laps in, getting used to it, and a lot of people will be pleased if, to see them moving up and making progress in this highly competitive underbone class. We are at the Chang International Circuit. We are in Buram in Thailand. The circuit itself has been in use. The BRIC Championships were ongoing all of last season. They've kind of smartened up, if not upgraded, the facilities here. Uh, the circuit itself is one that the, the riders seem to enjoy very, very much indeed. As for the underbones, though, it's four and a half um, uh, a kil kilometer circuit. It's a long old circuit uh, for eight laps on the underbone. Yep, it's... Uh just over two minutes Ooh, as that? we were looking. Who's that? 42 ah. going into the pits. That's Hafid. Hafid Pratama Maditya. Oh, dear me. That's bad news. There's a few So two and three here. in Super Bowl, not on the starting grid. 
Hafid out, Nazarul is at out. He looks to his right and there's nobody there, Barry Russell. Absolutely, that leaves uh, Afif Van Ram and the other bikes joining him on the second row. A clear look through at the run down to turn one. As the marshal holds the red flag just to hold them while we wait for the red lights to come on. He's you see them about to get underway. When the red lights go off, we will be underway. Ayueso on pole, looks to his right again, wonders where the company is. Can't believe the two and three are not on the starting grid with him. And he's been taken by surprise. And that's Giancarlo Mauricio, who's come from P9 into P1 to take the early. What a bizarre start. That was, uh, yeah, from a rider new to this series, that's a pretty good start to put it mildly. And Uezo, though, left on the line. He was literally looking to his right-hand side, saying, come on, come on, where is my support? Well, he's got company now. Pirapong, his teammate, has come alongside him. So that's the long opening straight. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of a stand-up moment there for Shafi Grosley, right in the middle of the pack. But everybody looking very circumspect in the first couple of corners of this, this new season. As we said, oh, somebody's Absolutely. got a problem. I think the gear's gone there. Yeah, that might be your down. Didn't quite catch it. Oh, so already we've got Izad Zaidi out of the race. Um, Afif Amran's made a good move up to P3. April King Moscado from Philippines. Uh, bike number 43 is up there as well. He's got himself into P3. The green there of Wayuaji uh, Trilexana from on XOX. He's in there. Yeah. Very determined uh, Wayuaji Trilaksana. He had a couple of uh, disappointing seasons by his uh, incredible standards, uh, but he is very determined. He's talking a good game here, and he rode a good game in qualifying and Super Bowl. Eight laps of the, the circuit. It is a long old circuit. As they're in the midst of it now. Can get very technical, but very unusually for Underbone. They're strung out in a long, long line. This is better. That's what we anticipate of them. As we saw there, 257, Jordan Badaru has actually made a, a decent fist for that. Now they'll really tighten up, coming into corner number 12. Who's avoiding the contact? They've all avoided the contact. They've got through lap one uh, nicely. April King Moscato leads from Shafiq Crosley. Why about you, Alexander, Ayman Tarudin, and Afif Amran from Malaysia in P5. Yeah, we always breathe a sigh of relief when the underbones uh, all get safely through turn 12. That was the first time around. I'm looking down for Uezo. He was fastest on Super Bowl. He's down in P11. It was such a bizarre start that he had. Nobody alongside him um, uh, on, on, on the grid. Non-starters, by the way, Hafid, Nazarul, Hafiz Arofa, and Ahmed Fazli Sham. Hafid out after the warm-up lap. Absolutely. Some real surprises at the start. Uh, Pirapom, I can see moving up into P4 as they uh, head down the long straight. We've got, at the moment, in the lead, we've got the Master Julie Amoko, one of the newcomers. And John Menison and Guito in, in there as well from the Philippines. Remember, McKinley Kyle Paz is a, a former Filipino champion of this class of racing. Uh, April King Moscado is in there. Liking the look of April King at the moment. He, 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 he rode really well last year. He had a 100, no, he had two second places in 12 races in the underbone category in the Philippines Championships last year. So do look out for April King. He's very, very confident. Afi Amran, bike number 50, look out for him as well. He's really confident, having just lost out in the uh, uh, Capri Championships in a thrilling finale in Malaysia. But we've had more of a bizarre start here. And everybody, Barry Russell, this is so unusual. Everyone's being very polite and very circumspect in the early stages of this race. Yes, they have. They've, uh, with the exception of the Vietnamese riders, they've all been racing in their domestic series. Big difference here. Of course, the level is higher. There's more to gain, more to lose, as we see them squirming their way under braking into turn 12. Dimas Julia will be who will lead into uh, lap number three. We're a quarter of the way through. Dimas Julia at Moko leads from Wayo Aji Trilaxana. Look out for Wayo Aji. Giancarlo Mauricio there in as well. And look at this. Wayo Aji Trilaxana, sometimes he does like to lead from the front. He does try to stretch things away. Difficult in underbone, but 
looks like in these early stages he's making a bid for that. Incredibly difficult in underbone, but he is capable of doing it. Let's see what happens as they come off this very fast section and break into turn three. So he's just been duffed up again by... Uh, well, Dimas Juli is there, there once again, but also coming through is uh, Uezo's made a move through, Uezo, and then Uezo goes wide. He's not making life easy. He's easy to spot, is Uezo, but it's impossible to say what position he's in. There he is, uh, just at the, on the middle of that. He's just about second, third, fourth at the moment. So he's been P1, fastest on Super Bowl, down to P11. Now he's back into the middle of the pack. That's under them. Yeah, that is definitely underbone. We do all the qualifying, but when it comes to race day, then people will come from the back, go to the front, but at the front, challenging again. Wayu Ali Triloxana, Wayu Haji Triloxana. Like in Wayu Haji, he's in the green, easy to pick out the, the green livery. Giancarlo Mauricio is making a decent fist of things towards the back. Well, Amadafi Vamran and Gubita Krejna, as well as the, the two Vietnamese, um, they're lapping in the 204s, high 204s, but they've not been dropped at the moment. Murabil Batoni is another of the, the newcomers who's been dropped. He had to go into the pits, and so he's only in sector two, while everyone else is a, a long way ahead of him. Dimas Julie's been dropped, Wayo Aji just holding on to P2. There is Dimas Julie in the black at the back as we come to the tail end of... Um, Lap number three, there is Wayu Aji Trilaksana. He does like to lead, it's, it is unusual. But you see that little look over the left-hand shoulder to see who's coming with him. Yeah. Wayu Aji leads from John Emerson in Quito. Love the KYT helmet there. And that might just be a rehearsal for the latter stages because he loses on the long straight, but he's quick off the corner. Yeah, a nice move there by Giancarlo Maurizio coming up the inside as they went into turn one. I think he's lost the advantage that he gained, but again, this is underbone racing. Pitapong Lubonpeng has uh, dropped off the pace. See him right at the very back of the brow of the hill. So Pitapong's having problems. That's surely a, yeah, that's surely a technical problem for him. That leaves his Japanese teammate, Oi Weizu. Who's in third place at the moment as they go around the hairpin at the end of the, the long straight into the more technical part of this boy ram circuit. We are, well, three and a half laps into an eight lap race. First race of the Asian Road Racing Championship 2022 season. For those of you whose life has stood still for two years. Thanks, Des. I was wondering. <laughs> As we just look on, Wayu Aji in the green. He's still the man just to keep a, a, a look out for. Because of his experience, Barry Russell, I'm, I'm convinced he's he's the man who holds the key to this whole race. I believe you're right. Uh, he knows his way around this track very well, and his racecraft is second to none. Uh, just looking at the back there, I think that's one of the... Uh, they're the two Vietnamese, Duk Tan, Duk Tan, yeah. yeah. But they're, they're clinging on, the two Vietnamese. Yeah. They're both in there, Duk Tan and Antoine, just yeah. in front of him. The pace, they're on the 204s. So long as you're within striking distance coming into the final lap, I think uh, this is open for anybody. Gito is in P3. Is that his outside? Yeah, has been showing well. So is that he's made a move as we come into the halfway point again? Wayu Ajutilaksana takes the perfect line into corner number 12. Can we still A couple, couple of riders had to stand up there. So it's Wayu Aji from Dimas Juli, April King Moscato in the, the purple, the easy to distinguish um, colours. Yeah, impressive performance so far this from, uh, from Dimas Juli at Moko. Debut at this level. Yeah, definitely seen this before from Indonesians they just uh, the riders just seem to come in from almost nowhere see Pirapong Louis Bimpeng he's uh, had an excursion into the pits not sure what he's going to achieve by coming out well just practice because there's another race tomorrow it's a 12 race season theoretically um, we, don't, <laughs> we don't put anything in stone <laughs> these days do we as Ryu Aji Tulexana leads down into after corner number three into the longest straight he's driving uh, Dimas Juli Akmoko alongside with him April King Moscado's in there as well April King uh, uh, Barry full of confidence he's used to winning races from um, tight situations yeah and he's staying 
comfortably in touch all the way through, whereas you see some riders going up and down the order. April King has been staying in, firmly in the top five. Ueso, one of those riders in the easy to pick out uh, orange and yellow livery. Back and forth, back and forth, up and down, currently in P3, as again the Vietnamese are not being dropped. Yeah, they'll be pleased with this performance, with four laps remaining. Peter Krejna's dropped out quite a way. Where's Peter Krejna gone? Bike 23 is... Oh, he's, he's been dropped a long way, Gupita. Getting a problem for him. He shouldn't be this far down at this point in the race. Started from P9. Well, Pitapong is in the pits. Gupita is still out on the circuit. Who's that joining in <laughs> on, on that outside? So somebody is um, ha having real problems as we come to the end of lap number five. This time, Wajiwaji Chilaksana will be P2. The man in green, 124, is indeed a problem for uh, Giancarlo Maurizio. And he was going pretty well, Giancarlo Barry Russell. Yeah, he was. And he did very, he was going very well all the way through the uh, two day test earlier this week and in practice yesterday. Uh, most eyes were on the other two Filipino riders in this class, but, uh, but he was always there or thereabouts. An abundance of talent coming from the Philippines. A very high mechanical casualty rate in, in this, this race. It doesn't normally happen in Underbone, but we've got uh, Giancarlo, Pirapong, Gupita, Murabil, Hafid, Nazarul, Hafiza, and Ahmed Fazli Sham all out of the reckoning. So that's uh, only 12 races of the original 20 still left in the race. That's right, and there were a few engine breakages yesterday. So they tune these machines very highly. They almost double the power output to uh, put them on track. So a lot, of, uh, a lot of importance placed on the engine builders who put these together. They have to strike this balance between getting as much power out, out of them as possible and as much reliability. There's our friend Uezo back in the front once again. He really has literally been from first to last and back now to first. This, this time there's no little look around the right-hand shoulder because he knows he's got company. Yeah, that's a fair, that's a fair assumption if you're an underbone racer. But Uezu, he's bringing uh, some colour and, uh, and some entertainment to this class. Mayuaji Chilaksana has been P1 or P2 for the best part of four laps, which is very impressive. Mohamed Yordan Badaru on debut. He's in the black and gold, just to the right of them, currently in P3. Dimash Julie just losing a little bit of uh, time as, as they move off. Afid, uh, Ahmad Afif Amran, bike number 50, has made the move. This is fascinating. After this corner, we will go in with two laps to go. Uezo, again, Wayuaji, Barry Russell, every time. Wayuaji, Chilaksana, right place on corner 12. There's uh, an imperiousness about Wayuaji's riding this time around. He looks like he owns this racetrack. Why are you, Adji? I don't want to put a commentator's curse on him because he's a lovely guy, but he's looking really good in this race. Shafi Grosley, P2. Jonathan Emerson-Gito in P3. Four is at Zaidi. Dimas Julie, five. Uezo back down in the middle of the pack, taking center stage. Uh, <laughs> April King, Moscardo down in P8. Jordan Badaru. This is building up into a beautiful climax. Welcome back, Underbone. Delighted to have you on the Asian Road Racing Championships again. As soon as I tweeted about ARRC coming back, I, uh, I got a load of comments from uh, MotoGP journalists. Looking forward to it. This has a huge following all around the world as we watch. Uh, I saw a couple of being forced very, very wide there. Afi Famran has, has taken a completely different line. Wayu Aji Chilaksana is leading the way. And I think it's uh, Emerson Ngito that he's taken with him. But there's a couple of very, very strange lines. Then Wayu Aji is just uh, caught up by four or five races. And we have a new race leader for the first time. Uh, is it Afi? It, it's Ayman Tarudin has forced his way to the front. Uezo in P3 and Gito holding on into P2. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's Tyrodin's first appearance at the front and coming back up behind him, I think, uh, is, uh, yeah, of course, it's uh, Uezo. Mayu Aji, must be said, Barry Russell, he's really struggling. He's dropped to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mayu Aji, Trilaxana. Yeah, something's changed. I didn't see a mistake from him. He's in the green livery, but he's being left behind at the moment. P2 is John Emerson in Quito from the Philippines. 
They enjoy this as we come into the penultimate lap. 202, Dimas Julie, he's still in there. As we come through into the final lap of eight, it is uh, Dimas Julie and Moko on debut who leads the way. Is at Zaidi from John Emerson in Guito. Where is. Um, Where's our hero? Where's my well, well, he He's P7. P6, I think, P7. So Dimas Julie is now breaking away down this long straight. You can see from the heat haze just how warm it is out there. Beautiful, beautiful conditions. So coming through now is uh, 55. Ayman Tarudin in there as well. Dimas is at also making a move. Is at Ayman got in there a bit. Sorry. Iman got in there uh, a little bit hot into turn three, so he's lost a bunch of places. But it's all to play for now, and uh, Oyewezu towards the back of that group. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. I'd love to see a positional chart from Oyewezu. It'd be like zigzag, zigzag <laughs> right the way through. But we are on the long race, coming into corner number four. We've got two thirds of the final lap left left to go, and it looks like we're going to have a classic finale to the first race of the 2022 Asia Road Racing Championship season. Why you? Oh, there is now the first casualty, the first faller. And it's an Uma Racing Philippines, uh, um, Uma Racing who's down. So we've got a couple more casualties. And, uh, April King, yeah, was taken down there as well. So those two are out. I saw Wayu Aji Trilaksana uh, flexing in that group. Let's see where he is now. He's in P5 now, Wayu Aji Trilaksana. But Dimas Julie's made a move up at the front. Dimas Julie's really impressive. First time we've seen him in this class. And uh, Izzat Zaidi's in there as well. He's the man leading the way just at the moment. 98, Izzat Zaidi, red on blue, leading the way, coming down to the final corner for the final time. Look at Wayu Aji Chilaksana coming up on the inside. Wayu Aji, can he hold on? The Indonesian, he's looked, oh, he's been pushed wide. Wayu Aji loses it, two go down. The win goes to Izzat Zaidi from Mohamed Jordan. Wayu Aji third. Dimas Julie fourth, Ivan Tarud in fifth, Uezo finishes in sixth. Is that Zaidi? Time that to perfection. Why you actually tried everything in you, Barry Russell? I'm breathless. As you can see, I was trying not to uh, shout over you, not that that's uh, even possible. But uh, that was an incredible race, incredible last corner, as we always see. Now, I need to get down to Park Ferme. Indeed, you need got to calm those guys down. Barry Russell doubling up as co-commentator and also race interviewer today. But number 98 is at Zaidi Salahan taking the victory for pit spike JRT one way. Really, really good work from Izzat Zaidi. Left it late for the chequered flag as a couple of others are still making their way. That's John Emerson and Guito, who was literally um, walking his bike over the line to pick up some points in P11. But the maximum 25 points will go to Izzat Zaidi. Jordan Badaru, good result for him in P2. Wayu Aji Chilaksana will pick up P3. But what a phenomenal. Breathless, breathless stuff. We'll just get confirmation of the final results as we, soon as we possibly can. There they are, Izzat Zaidi, a 0.24 lead over Jordan Badaru on debut on the Honda Supra. Wayu Aji Chilaksana won XOX TKR Racing in P3. Dimas Julie on debut in P4. Ayman Tarudin will pick up 11 points for P5. Uezu finally finishes in P6. Team one for all. Ahmed Afif Amran in seven. April King Moscato will pick up points on the Yamaha Sniper. Five seconds down. Duk Tan will pick up points uh, for P10. Six points for him. Ingito pushed his bike over the line in P11. Shafi Grosley, he had engine problems but there was a high casualty rate, as you can see there. But what a performance, what a way to start this brand new season. As uh, Ahmed Afif Imran, uh, Amran leads us into the Park Ferme, but it'll be a Malaysian Izzat Zaidi who will enjoy the 25 points on offer for P1. This is Buriram. And the Asian Road Racing Championship is back. 
Big smiles all over the crowd. Corner 12, as usual, was the corner that really caused problems. Why, wow, Adi Chilaksana have been so, so strong in the previous two. He ends up uh, in the previous laps, one to six. He ends up in P3, but is that Zaidi Salahan? Pit spike, JRT one way, riding the Yamaha Y15ZR. His last lap of 206s, he was regularly inside the 204s. And there is the number one leader of the championship. Nobody can take that away from him. Park Ferme is pretty close. He's got him get himself weighed, and uh, the bike has just got to be checked out. And of course, all the usual scrutineering has got to go on. But it's uh, an excited crowd for the first race of the season. Welcome back. We've got three more cracking races still to come. Asia Production 250, Super Sports 600, and the Super Bikes. And there's a really, really good competition in all uh, four categories that we've got on the ARC this season. Just waiting for Barry to trot out of the commentary position, which is uh, right next to the main stand. Jordan Badaru, Waiwaji Trilaksana three, Dimas Juli at Moto. What a debut performance from Dimas Juli. Ayman Tahirudin, debut. No, it's not. He, he, he rode in uh, 2019, didn't he, Ayman? But a solid P5 for him. Uezo definitely on debut. What a fascinating race he had. The fact that the two other top qualifiers in Super Bowl, Nazrul Izzat and Hafid Pratamadiata, couldn't uh, start. But let's go on to the winner and the top three. Barry Russell is talking, I think, to the top three. And you had a little problem? on the last couple of laps and dropped back a little bit. How was the race for you? Yeah, uh, I'm feeling uh, happy because uh, already two years uh, of uh, uh, pandemic. But uh, in the race one, I try uh, for my strategy, but uh, in the last turn, a uh, little bit... Uh, uh, and then I try to push my back again. And then, alhamdulillah, I, uh, I get the three podium. Thank yeah, you. You came back beautifully. Well done. Congratulations. Thank Ryan. you very much. And now to your dance going through for the other thing. Mask on, Indonesian flag on your dance. That was a fantastic performance in this race. What was it like to race at Chang International Circuit the first time and how was it racing with these guys? Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, thank you for my team and my mechanic to uh, thank you my boss Putra. Uh, I'm race one to very, very hard. <laughs> I'm going following uh, following my mate. My mate uh, <laughs> Thank you. It was a brilliant performance and you timed everything beautifully to come through to second. Yeah. Jordan, congratulations. Thank you. Great thank to you. have you in this championship. <laughs> and the winner is with me right now, Izzat Zaidi. Congratulations, my friend. That was a brilliantly timed move, you, a brilliant race. How was it for you? Firstly, How did you get yourself in position? Firstly, I want to say thanks to team. Uh, GRT Peace Bike One Way Racing Team because set up the best uh, final race one. And in the race, many fight to front group and I stay the front group. And last last lap, I try the best and Alhamdulillah, I win a race, race two. It's a fantastic job and it's good to see you winning at the International Circuit again. Thank you. Well done, is that. Highlights of the Underbone 150cc race at the Buram uh, Circuit, the Chang International Circuit, the opening race of the 2022 season. Uh, fascinating start. Ayo Oezo, bike 521, was 
on his own on the front row because P2, Hafid, and P3, Najwal Izzat from the Super Bowl, they both had to withdraw with mechanical problems. Uh, what it meant that was Uezo, who's uh, now down in P11, had a, a literally an up and down race. He would finish, eventually finish in P6. For a long while, though, we thought that the man in green, uh, the man who eventually came in P3, Wayu Ajitrilaksana, would be the man to watch. He was getting into beautiful positions, as we just see as they come towards the uh, midway point of the race on the highlights. Another man who did really well was a, a debutant, uh, Julie. Um, on, on debut, uh, Dimash Juli Atmoko for the LFN Indonesia racing team. He was on the Honda Supra. Most of the riders here are on the Yamahas, but uh, uh, Dimash Juli, his Honda really uh, held up well and um, he put himself in good positions. But again, the man in green, Wayu Ajitrilaksana, he was the man we thought would be uh, the man to look out for. There he was leading at the midway point of the race, dragging Dimash Juli Atmoko uh, through with him. But then something would happen later on to Wayu Aji. As you can see here, he having been 1-2 right the way through the opening half, he's just getting swallowed up as, as our friend Uezu moves himself back up from 12 into a position challenging for the lead. There he is in the yellow and orange liveries. But it's around about this time that we got our first little look at Izzat Zaidi Mohamed Salhan. The Malaysian from the Pittsburgh JRT one-way team. He just made his move here. Here he is in P5 at the moment. And then he makes his move in the blue uh, bike, black helmet, currently in P3. He held his position absolutely beautiful. Took a little bit of slipstream to take the lead for the first time at the one-third point of the uh, very, very last lap. And then when it came into the middle portion of the race, there was a problem for April King Moscardo, who bounced out and nearly took one of his uh, Uma Racing teammates with him. But then it came to the final corner. Wayu Aji, he held the line, but look who it is who comes for. Emerson Nguito is uh, bundled off with the bike, but the race win goes uh, to number 98, Izzat Zaidi, for the Pittsburgh JRT one-way team. Two, player, uh, two riders crash on the very, very last corner. As we have a look at the replay once again, they're taken out. There's the problem for them, but the race win goes to number 98, Izzat Zaidi, on the Yamaha for the Pittsburgh JRT one-way. He is the very early leader in the championship. Okay, and we go to the podium, and uh, Wayu Aji Chilaksana, a very happy man. Barry Russell has come back to join us in the commentary box, and uh, Barry, quick thoughts. You've had a, a very, very quick chat with the guys. I was surprised that Wayu Aji Chilaksana felt so buoyant about his P3. Yes, he did. It, it, I think it was because he, uh, he tried some strategies that didn't work out perfectly, uh, but he was genuinely buoyant. I know Wayu Aji quite well. And uh, he was really pleased with this. I think he feels like he's back and getting a podium. First time after two years. Jordan Badaru on debut, a P2 for him. But uh, you could, even though he's still wearing a mask, is a dad, you could see the smile underneath the mask. He is radiating happiness. Yeah, he is, absolutely. We know him well in this championship and it's always great to see him on the podium. And the Malaysian national anthem, Nagaraku, will blaze out under the Boreham Grant, Boreham Grandstand in just a moment. Great way to get the season back and running. Isn't it?
the Garaku played out over the PA systems for the victory for uh, Izat Zaidi. Terrific performance from the Malaysian, who's a regular on the ARRC scene and well known in Malaysia as well. Prizes for today being handed out by Tong Chai Wong Sanon, the president of the FM. SCT, and also by Stefan Karapier, the uh, FIM Asia president. Blistering hot day. Uh, just a little bit of breeze just to, to help the riders, but I'm just thrilled that we're right back out racing competitively as it was, and that was indeed a competitive race, uh, <laughs> Barry Russell. Yeah, it was. We knew that it would be, uh, but it really delivered in spades. Some new names for us as well. Dimas Juliat Moko coming in P4. But the man coming in P2 also. Um, but also some familiar names disappearing out. Uh, there, was a, there was a high casualty rate. Pitapong Lo Boinpeng out. Giancarlo Mauricio, a debutant, out. But these are yeah. the three who will pick up the 25, 20, and 16 points. Is Adzaidi for Pittsburgh picking up maximum points? Yeah, and uh, honorary mention to John Emerson and Guito, who crashed at turn 12 for the second time today. Stefan Carapier, FIM Asia president, handing out uh, the helmet prizes. Need bigger podiums, not enough space on there. <laughs> Too many prizes. So many prizes, yeah. But again, I, ca I can't overemphasize how good it is to be back racing. We've still got three more races to go at the Asia Production 250cc, the Super Sport 600s, and the big bikes, the super bikes, the big beasts flying around the Chang International Circuit. Yeah, the effort being put in by everybody this week and this weekend has been incredible. Early championship standings. Izat Zaidi leads the way, 25 points. Jordan Badaru on debut, 20. Waiwaji Trilaksana, 16. Dimas Juli riding the Honda. Look at that Honda, two and four. Uh, Ayman Tahirud in very good result for the Cardinals racing team, 11. Uezo finishing, eventually finishing sixth. He was fun. Amadafi Famran, Antoine. Top eight for Honda Racing Vietnam. We've hardly mentioned him. My apologies to Honda Racing Vietnam team. April King Mascaro coming through in P7 ahead of Duc Tan. So top 10 places for both Vietnamese. Inguito pushing his bike over the line for Yamaha, completing the points in P11. Okay, so the first race is up and running. We are back in the saddle. We're going to go for a quick commercial break, and then we'll get ready for the AP250. You're watching the Asia Road Racing Championship from Boram in Thailand. 